Joined by Jerry Holub, our plant and garden specialist, and you have probably been fielding a ton of questions lately with the heat and the lack of rain. Right. Several people are asking, you know, with their plants, they quit blooming or not blooming very much. What I brought today here to show you, it's called a bloom booster. Bloom it's, booster. Yes. It comes in a powder form. You take this little spoon I've got right mm -hmm. here, one level spoonful of this in a gallon of water, and just water your plants with them. It just takes a little while, and they'll start blooming again for you. You get right. bigger blooms, more blooms. It even works on your tomato plants to get you more blooms. Okay. And of course, more blooms mean more tomatoes. Yes, I just ate a few yes. fresh ones from my uh, little yes. garden, so to speak. And yesterday. speaking of these, I want to show you this morning. We're going to get back to the plants in a few minutes here. Okay. This is at uh, Riemann Music Parking Lot in Urbandale. Mm -hmm. They're selling Iowa grown fresh tomatoes, mm. and they're real juicy and good. And the sweet corn is out of this world. It's really sweet and good. What did you say? You were telling me a minute ago. Mm. You do with the tomatoes, really good tip. Um, you mean with the... I like how you eat them. Oh yes, I, I cut them up and eat them with uh, BLTs. Yeah, you yes. said multiple days a week. Yes, huh? two or three days a week. I don't do much bacon, but I like the fresh tomatoes and yeah. the lettuce, mm. and a little bit of mayonnaise on there makes them good too. Okay. And use toast. Use toast. toast. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right. What Let's talk about the front? flowers in the front here. Uh, we still have our half price sale going on up in Ames, Iowa at the main location. That's off 13th Street, just east of Ames. And it's all the indoor plants, outdoor plants, herbs, vegetables. They're all half price up there. So you can go up there and there's a lot of experts up there that will help you with them too if you're having any problems with them. And they have hanging baskets up there too. They're that way. And we'll show here in the middle, this big one in the middle here. It's one of my favorites. It's a daisy and these will just bloom for weeks and weeks and weeks. It's a rutabaga daisy, beautiful. which is yeah. a perennial, comes up every year. Now, the other ones I have here are just annuals that I've got here along the side here. Um, this one here is really neat. We'll show this one up close. This is called a Kong coleus. This plant here will get three foot tall, and the leaves are as big as a dinner plate. Wow. They're that big. On They're this pretty, one. But yeah. it has to be total shade. Okay. It has to be shade that way. And this one on the end here, of course, I show it each week. One of my favorites, it's fan flower. This one here is a very forgiving plant. If you forget to water it a day or two, even the heat, it'll come back for you. That's what I need. It holds, I it holds moisture in the, in the stems real well that way too. And let's get back to watering. I've had many, many calls this week about watering. Um, if you can, keep the water off the leaves when you water. Try to water early morning. Okay. That way too. And indoor plants, always try to let your water set a little bit. It's better that way with the chlorine, the fluoride in the water if you're using tap water. And never use water softener water. There's salt in it. That'll hurt your plants. So outdoor plants, like I say, just try to make sure you water morning. If you don't and something's wilt in the middle of the day, just try to keep the water off the leaves and water down low that way. I want to talk about bugs too. I brought okay. this along here. A lot of people are with white flies, little white fly flying around. There's aphids going around too. There's other little bugs going around. This one here works great. It's organic. We have it up at Ames at our store up here. And it's good on any outdoor plants, indoor plants, just any plants you've got. It's safe to use. Awesome. That way too. Jerry, yep. thank you so thank much you. for being here. You've offered so many good tips with the uh, plants up front, with the um, the blooming, uh, what's blooming the name fertilizer. of that again? Blooming yeah. fertilizer, yeah. yeah. Bloom and booster, it's called. Bloom booster, that yes. was the name. Yes. And you can always talk to people yeah, about their plants. Too, my, yeah, at the bottom of the screen. I, I get calls almost every day. Some day be three or four calls. Some people text me too, and I'll answer them all and help you out with your any problems right. you have. Jerry, thank, thank you, you so much. Good too, because with all the heat, with the lack of rain, you probably are struggling a little bit.